Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use effects in Artflow. So you might have noticed if you go into your layers right here, there is a section called effects. This holds a bunch of essentially special effects, sort of like what you get on layer blending modes, but a bit different. So in this video, we'll be going through all of those. Here to really get the full gist of the effects we'll be having, I did a little splash of color here, and we'll see how the effects change this. So let's go into the effects menu here. There are a good few different options, which I think is really refreshing considering Artflow usually doesn't have many options. Negative inverts things. It's pretty self explanatory, but negative is always a really interesting effect. The thing is though, it only really works one way. You can't edit the negative, you can just make it go once, and then if you don't like it, you can press it again to make that negative. Next we have grayscale. There's no real way to undo this one, and it just makes your drawing monotone. Here, unlike with the others, you can't click on it again to make it go back. It just stays grayscale. The only way to put this back is to press the back arrow. Of course, grayscale is always a fun thing to have, but I think that there should be more options and ways to undo it easier. Then we have Solarize. This, I can't even really explain what it does honestly, but it does change the colors a lot. You can change how powerful the colors are, how bright they can be, and how saturated they are compared to the normal layer. These three settings can make for a really interesting effect, honestly. You can also invert it if you want. So I definitely recommend playing around with this one. It seems like a really interesting effect. Then we have brightness and contrast, which actually has a menu, which is really refreshing. Here, it's pretty self-explanatory. It changes how close to the white it is, and then how much contrast is between the colors, or basically how much they blend together. The lower the contrast is, the more they will blend together, and the higher it is, the more barriers you will see between them, like this. This is, again, really, really fun to play with. Then we have color balance. This changes three different parts of the drawing's colors, the mid parts, the shadows, and the highlights. The shadows will be all the darker parts, and here you'll be able to change the color of those shadows. This drawing doesn't exactly have shadows though, so you won't really see an effect there. In midtones, this is all the main stuff. Right here, you'll see in the center of everything, this is how it's supposed to be. But if you shift even one of the bars, you will see it shift more towards the color that you're going towards. For example, if we went completely cyan in both ways, then it would be just blue. Or if you kept everything midtone, apart from just moving it to green, then it would be just green. This is really, really fun to play with. Then we have highlights, which just change the lighter parts of the drawing or the highlights of it. Again, it has the same sort of principle. It'll change all the highlights to whatever color you drag it towards. Next up, we have curves. This sort of changes the color curves between red, green, and blue from what I can see. It's a pretty confusing menu, but, but it can be really interesting to play with. It starts out flat like this, and then you can put a line wherever you want. This will change the drawing completely depending on what part of the square you go to. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure how to work this, but it seems really, really interesting. So if you want to mess with the drawing's color palette, then give this a go. You can also choose what parts of the color palette you want to alter. Then we have blur. This really just blurs the drawing and nothing else. And unfortunately, it's not even really that good of a blur. It's not that amazing of a feature, in my opinion. Then we have sharpen, which is sort of the opposite of blur. It makes even the tiniest particles a lot more clear, as you can see here. These are all super duper clear now, whereas if they were normal, it would just be blended out. Then we have Viginette, which I think essentially makes the edges darker and shadowy. It's really interesting if you're trying to play with lighting, but otherwise it's kind of useless. And then the last one is Halftone. This will change everything into a sort of comic book dot effect, which I think is really interesting. You can change how intensely you want the dots to be shown, right here on the scale bar. The higher up you put it, the bigger the dots will be. Then you can change the angle of the dots right here. 
I think this is super duper fun and personally I think it's good to just put some airbrush over something and then half tone it. It can make for a really really interesting drawing. Those were all the effects in Artflow and I think you should definitely check them out. It was really really interesting looking through them and I bet a lot of them would be super useful for a drawing. Again I wish there were more settings in most of them because it's pretty much like settingless in a lot of the different effects. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did or found it helpful then maybe consider supporting. Bye!